You're live with Scotty's foot in. Who's that? Tom Scotty, thank you, dude. It's T here. Who, who is it? Tom. Tom! Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo to you, Scotty. I have a question for you. Yes, Tom. Good man. Tom, where are you phoning from? Are you phoning from Ireland? I am indeed. How I'm wonderful. Uh, whereabouts, roughly? Belfast. In Belfast itself. This is lovely. Love to Belfast. Hands across the sea. Have you ever been, Scotty? Uh, I didn't make it. I made it to the Giant's Causeway. And then I had to get the ferry in the morning from Ballycastle. That is very nice. I've uh, been there a couple of times myself, Scotty. Beautiful. But I, I wanted to get into the town and see you all, you know. I understand. Now then, sir. What do you think? What do you think about Joe Biden's visit, Scotty? Um, well, I wonder why he did it. I know it was the 25th anniversary of the peace process, <laughs> and that was great. Uh, and he did all the, the glad handing and what have you. But I think the Irish people would have rather had Donald Trump. I would 100% agree with you on that, Scotty. When he came over about five years ago, it was he got a very, very good welcoming. And I believe that if he came over again, he'd get the very same. That is absolutely wonderful. This is what we're needing, because I really think the mess the world's in at the moment, Donald will save the day. Well, when Donald Trump was in office, there was no conflict between no. the United States and other neighbouring countries. Nope, absolutely. And he got on well with China and Russia and all that stuff. And I think if we get Donald back in next year, he'll sort it all with a phone call. And I do believe that if Donald Trump ever did come to Ireland, he wouldn't need the Irish government to paint him a yellow line to navigate him how to walk on the streets. He certainly would not, and I think he'd go around and people would just be loving it. And they say that uh, that Biden's not a great fan of, of, of Britain anyway. I heard that myself. No. I have a relative in over in the United States and he was watching a podcast and he says that Joe Biden can't even remember going to Ireland two weeks ago. Isn't that amazing? That wouldn't surprise me. I'm not sure he's in the best of Nick, you know what I mean? I don't think so, with him being eighty years of age. I'm not trying to be ageist. No, no, you're not you're not being ageist. I mean, if he runs for office again, he'll be eighty six or something, you know? I agree with you on that. And I think Donald Trump, as you said, he was having seen it at one phone call. Yeah, absolutely. Tom, it's been an absolute privilege talking to you and love to Belfast. Likewise, buddy. It's been great speaking to you, son. I'll get myself over there at some point. I would hope. Um, we would love to have you. We would welcome you. And bless you. And dinky you do, sir. Thank you, dude, Scotty. Thank you, dude, Tom. All the best. Tom from Belfast there, guys. Lovely, lovely call. Very, very welcome, AC.